Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video, the second in our No Regrets, Don't Regret It, Use It series. In the first episode we looked at using washi tape, ways to get the most out of the washi tape that we've bought. And today we're going to look at patterned paper scraps. Before we get stuck in to using our scraps, I thought I'd show you how I organise and store my scraps. So I organise everything by colour. This is my pile of pink and red paper scraps. Most of these are left over from journaling and scrapbooking projects. And I keep all my scraps organised by colour. So I've got red and pink here and I keep my red and pink scraps in this wallet. It's just a zippy pouch. I put this up from the range I think I got a set of them and they were very inexpensive and they're great for organizing things that are sort of A4 size. A4 is a bit like US letter size. So I've got one of these for red and pink scraps, I've got one for orange and yellow scraps, I've got one for green and teal scraps and one for blue and purple and another one for multicoloured sort of rainbow papers. So I've got a variety of different sizes of pink and peach tone scraps. These are actually from sticker packs. These are the cardboard bits that the stickers came with. I always keep those. These are from Rose's studio and they always put a lovely pattern on their uh, card that goes in with things like stickers in the sets that they make. So I've got those. Then I've got a whole range of little scrappy bits, some with torn edges, some cut down. But these are all pinks and peaches. And by grabbing this, I know that whatever I choose to use, it's all going to work together. I think a lot of these actually came from the same Roses Studio collection. Can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. So one of my favourite things to do with pattern paper scraps is simply die cut shapes from them. I have been known to spend a very happy evening not making anything in particular but just die cutting shapes from pattern paper mainly for use in scrapbooking and journaling. I don't tend to use much pattern paper in card making but I do love it for journaling and scrapbooking but this was a requested video so I am going to use some pattern paper on my cards. So just to keep things simple, I've got two identical stitched square dies and I'm going to cut two squares out of each of these scraps. Now the beauty of having a die cutting session is that when you want to make a card and you haven't got an awful lot of time, if you've got things pre-cut you can just grab them and use them. Now with these two papers, the map paper and the spotty paper, it didn't matter what orientation I cut my squares out because they're not particularly directional. But I do want to cut these butterflies out straight, I guess. So they look like they're fluttering upwards in the same direction. So I've got a card panel here that's approximately four by six inches. And all I'm going to do is add some foam tape to the back of my squares. So I'm going to pop this on here. My panel is about 10 centimetres wide. So I'm going to pop this about half a centimetre from the middle. And the same with this one, half a centimetre from the middle. And that will give me a one centimetre gap in the middle. And these are now lined up straight. So I'm going to put my sentiment on my middle squares and I want to pop my sentiment up so I don't want my middle squares popped up. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the back of them and they're going to go flat. And put that at a centimetre below that one. And then this one is going to get popped up again. Thank you. 
So now those are all stuck down, I want to get everything the same with the same border around the outside. It doesn't have to be exact as long as it looks right, that's what's important. It doesn't matter what the actual measurements are. For my sentiment, I'm going to use this birthday stamp. It says, Happy birthday to an amazing person. And I'm going to stamp it in black on white cardstock. Another alternative would be to stamp it in embossing ink and heat embossing gold or something and do that on vellum and then you'd be able to see the squares behind. I think this will be all right. And we'll go with that. If you wanted to give it a bit of gloss, you could add clear embossing powder and heat that to make the sentiment glossy. And now I can die cut that out with this die. To add dimension, I'm sticking some craft foam tape on the back and I'm going to center it in the middle of the card. Try and get it straight. So I've got a four by six inch card blank here. I could pop this on here and just have these little borders at the bottom and the top, or I could shuffle it down to the bottom and just trim off my card blank there. Another idea would be to take some scrap paper in a sympathetic color and add that up there and another bit down here. In fact, I think I'll do that. just bring in a bit of contrast I've got these enamel dots which I've had forever in this lovely minty green color they don't seem to want to come off the backing today I can add these and they add as I say a bit of color contrast So that's idea number one, spend some time just die cutting basic shapes out of your paper scraps so that when you haven't got an awful lot of time, you've got things to grab and make a quick card with. And we've also got idea number two, which is to use paper scraps to create borders or mats on your card to fill your card blank where your panel might be smaller than the card blank intentionally or unintentionally. So this is my orange and yellow scraps pouch. I also include gold in that. So I'm gonna grab the patterned bits because that's what we're talking about today. I also keep plain bits because quite often I make my own pattern paper by stamping on my plain paper again these are all left over from scrapbooking idea number three is to cut some words out of your pattern paper now you can cut individual letters or you could cut word sentiments and again this is something you could do which doesn't take a lot of thought or effort you could pre-cut lots of letters or lots of words. So if you know you've got uh, Christmas coming up, you could pre-cut lots of Merry's, for example, so that when it comes to making your Christmas card, you can just grab the Merry's you've cut out of your pattern paper scraps. So what I want to do with my word here, which says smile, I want to make sure they're all vertical, 
when I cut them out of my paper because this is a directional paper it's got hearts on it and so when I put my letters on my card front I don't want necessarily to have my hearts pointing all over the place so I'm going to get a bit of washi tape and I can I've lined them up on my glass mat using the grid and I can just pick them up with my washi tape like that you could always put your washi tape that way up and then line them up backwards and then I can pop this on here making sure that it looks like it's straight before I die cut them though I want to pop some craft foam on the back so I've got this craft foam from Snix2 it is very old so it's not always the best amount of stick on it but I think that's all right I'm not going to take them out just yet because I need to stick them to something so for my base I've got a four by six inch card blank smooth white cardstock and I'm going to use this bit of backing and what I want is to provide somewhere for my letters to sit so I think about there about that much there will be enough I'm going to put this straight down onto my card blank because my letters have dimension so this bit doesn't need to be popped up at all So now we have our landing spot for our word. We can take it carefully out of there. And it's pretty much arranged how I want it. So I'll just line that up there. So there we have our word on our little background and I've got again some very old uh, enamel dots that don't want to come off the backing today so I can fill some of the empty spaces with little enamel dots. So that's idea number three and I guess idea number four. Number three, make words or sentiments out of your pattern paper scraps. Number four is use scraps as bands or strips that act as landing spaces, landing places for your sentiments or your focal point. So this is my greens and teals pattern paper, my scraps. And I'll sort these out into patterns and planes. So something that you can do with your longer scraps, perhaps, is cut them into strips. So you can use a trimmer, a guillotine or strip dies. And I've got three different widths of strip dies here. And I'm going to use these to make a bunch of different strips from my patterned paper. So there we have a bunch of strips. And now what we can do is add some double-sided sticky, a piece of card, and we just put our strips on here. Get them lined up. It doesn't actually matter if they're straight or not. They just need to butt up next to each other nicely. You can put your strips on in a repeating pattern or you can shake them up a bit. It doesn't matter, it's whatever looks good to you. And you can cut the overhang off and work these bits back into the mix. So now we have a brand new piece of pattern paper made from pattern paper scraps, but it's got lots of lovely texture on it and it's completely unique. And what you can do from this is you can cut, die cut any shape. You could use the whole thing as a panel on your card 
or you could die cut some shapes from it. And I've got some hearts here. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine to get these hearts from it. So here I have my hearts. They've come out really well. I love those. And I've also got this negative, which I've trimmed down using my guillotine. And that would look great on the front of a card. You could pop it over to one side and add your sentiment. You could inlay something in there, different pattern paper or some glitter card stock, or you could even turn it into a shaker. This card I'm gonna keep really simple. I'm simply going to add some rose gold washi tape. That's about three quarters of an inch in. Snip off the excess, because I don't really want to fold that over to the inside of the card. If you're worried about your washi tape peeling off at some point, because it's not designed to be permanently adhesive, then you could always put a little bit of glue underneath it before you stick it down. And my main heart, I'm gonna pop up on foam tape. some glue on the back of my small heart and get that there and now I know where I want my main heart there and again some glue here so we've got a bit of difference in depth and dimension and for my sentiment I'm thinking a very simple happy birthday across my middle heart there and that's easy to get straight because of the straight strips of patterned paper and I've got some small teeny tiny mini enamel dots here that are peachy coloured so they work well with the rose gold and I think I'll just pop them on the big heart. Actually, I think I will just make a little row of them up here. And maybe some just down here balance that out so that was idea number five i think it was cut some strips stick them on a piece of paper and then die cut some shapes out of them and you can also use the negative so there we go three cards are made with pattern papers specifically pattern paper scraps and five ideas on what to do with them. And I think one of the wonderful things about pattern paper and having pattern paper scraps is you can just sit and cut things from them when you're feeling uninspired when you haven't got a lot of energy just grab your scraps grab some dies and cut some shapes from them to put away for another day if you don't want to use them straight away they're there they're ready when you want to make a quick card right hope you found that helpful maybe you picked up some tips along the way if you have I'd really appreciate you let me know in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.